To succeed in life, we have to figure out life's hacks. Listen to how Francis Lobo figured it out. I grew up in Bangalore, Commerce College, Catholic Club, a lot of mischief on, on Brigade Road, Symphony Theatre, Galaxy, so on and so forth. Um, I worked with my dad a little bit and then I, I came to the US to do my MBA and I joined a go-to-market strategy consulting firm, which was fantastic. Long story short, I uh, chose to come back to India. India was home. I wanted to uh, uh, come back. Uh, and I started my first company in India. And I realized that uh, as much as I wanted to be, I may not have been the smartest entrepreneur in the world. Um, but I did well. I, I was able to uh, uh, partially sell that company after two years. And then I was in this interesting position, Ian. And this is where uh, I, I, I believe I have a little bit to share. Um, I couldn't get a job. I couldn't get a job in Bangalore. Wow. I'd, I'd worked in the US. I had started a company, sold a company. I was 27 years, 28 years old. I couldn't get a damn job. Wow. I went on over 30 or 40 interviews. And one guy actually told me, he said, you're too young for the position. I was actually too young for jobs I was qualified for. And I was uh, overqualified for jobs that I was the right age for. So in the end, finally, I said, you know, I'm going to make my own way. And I met a, through a friend of mine. I was introduced to AOL and I joined their call center in Bangalore. Um, in ITPL, oh, in the night shift. And um, I learned very quickly that if you are able to find out what you are good at, if you're self-aware of what you're good at, um, it can take you the way. You know, I don't know if you know uh, um, Tim Ferriss, but um, yes. Yes, one of the things of Ferris was that, uh, you know, the superheroes in your mind all have walking flaws who maximize just one or two strengths. But anyways, I was able to find out that I was good with advertising relevance. Don't ask me why, but I was. And through advertising relevance, I came up with ideas that made a little money from the call center in, in AOL. And to cut a long story short, in six years, a year later, I moved back to the US with AOL because I came up with an idea that made a lot of money for the company. Wow. And six years later, I was one of four presidents in, uh, running the company, wow. reporting to the CEO in New York City. Um, but it, it came from finding good people, learning from them, but finding out what you're good at and, and leveraging that. Um, after that, I was blessed with, blessed with luck. And um, I, I learned to, one thing I'll share, is which I learned that in life, we are given countless opportunities. It's for us to see it, grab it, and make the most of it. Life gives us numerous hacks. We have to know which ones to grab and which ones to juice.